Okay, so in some companies, what they do is they, they have, you know, biometrics obviously, but some companies don't use that. They use the door access module. What does that mean? A lot of clients of ours or, your, or yourself, uh, you would have a RFID or a fingerprint or door access or a card swipe to get into your office and leave your office, okay? So sometimes you could use that for your time in, time out. But that means that you have a lot of time, you, you, don't, you always go in and out all the time for a smoke break or a bathroom break, but our software will filter out all the data in between the logs and only take your first in and your last out. That's how it will know your time in, time out. If you do have that particular setup configuration, then you click this button called Import Door, door Access Log. So we have already a, a list of several different kinds of uh, door access uh, um, units that you might be using. Hopefully yours is there. If it's not, let us know. We'll customize it for you. There'll be additional charge for that, but we have to work with your provider to give us the what we call the SDK, standing for Software Development Kit, but that can be done as well, okay? So on top of that, you also have the uh, import XLS to PCT. What does that mean? You have the ability also to make your time logs in Excel. Now, why would you do that? Who knows why? But if you're doing Excel as your time and time out, you can import that data into a preset up, uh, format that we've given you, and you can bring that in as if you're bringing it from a timekeeping. Of course, there's no validation there on our side. We just bring the data in, okay? Uh, we could also import employee from EPS, meaning the payroll software, the database of the master file can be brought in automatically through the systems. So you, you do not have to encode it all one by one, okay? Uh, then you can also do your official business uh, whereabouts, so for example, if I'm leaving for the day, or no, this is, when it comes to the whereabouts, you can see the whereabouts functionality here, where you could actually see the, the report of where all your staff have been through a certain particular time frame, from what date to what date, so the beginning of January 1, for example, to January 30th, you can view that report already. Okay. The daily time record, what we call the DTR, this is if you want to see the time logs, okay? The time in time out, this is going to be a long piece of paper for the last 15 days of your time, your cutoff period for your payroll period. So you can see it that way. You can see the man hours report. Uh, basically, this is your, from one, from one uh, date frame to another date frame of all the man hours that you use. It'll just, it'll just total it up. So for example, if you have like 300, man hours or a thousand man hours. This is a cumulative of all your employees, huh? Not just one employee, so it's a total. Especially if you're charging your client, if you are a company that is based on per hour billing, this will come in handy. If you want to see the sick leave and vacation leave of all your employees in a report format, same thing, you can click this feature here, the SLBL report, you put a date frame here, choose all employees or whatever you want to what criteria, and I'll preview that report for you as well. Which employees had sick leave and vacation leave? Same thing for tardiness and absences and under time. You can see that report as well. Um, the fingerprint utility functionality. Let me kind of touch base on this one. So for example, if I click system setup, I could, if you go to use the fingerprint side, I showed you that little URU little piece, you have to click edit here click say yes, and you go into this functionality, and you click fingerprint. See the fingerprint little checkbox there? You've got to put in the password, so it's an extra additional feature to use this function. That's why you have to, you have to get the password. The password will be given to you, or our staff will access it through our remote computer setup, or be on site depending on your location, and we'll type in our password so you can utilize the fingerprint. What this does is opens up that module that you can actually plug it in and become a plug and play. Okay, now once it gets closed, it goes back to the main setup and you have your timekeeping. That's it for now. There's other, there's other videos for the detailed one on a deep dive training, but I just give you a quick overview. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is George Durante signing off.